all right all right what's going on party people this is your man grill just knocking out this video for our fritter friday hey today i tried the fritter from wawa and uh i wasn't happy with it at all i mean it's the type of fritter that you could you would eat if you ain't got nothing else and you just want to eat something you know or you want to mess with somebody's kids and give them a sugar rush <laughs> you can do something like that but this here thing um yeah 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 this is this is um this wasn't good at all it wasn't good at all um yeah it wasn't good throw that on the floor there so don't tell the wife i did that she gonna get me but um but yeah today is fritter friday i just wanted to share with y'all real quick like um i finally made it back home i've been on the phone all day this morning helping some notaries out and getting some um some um live set up to do on the channel and everything so i got that coming down the pipe um got some member only um lives that i'm gonna be doing with the members um and everything so um yeah and this past week been um awesome thanks everybody for supporting the the um the live we did with amy from cyberize it that was awesome that was a lot of good information being put out there and the, and the takeaway is this make sure you're being trained by somebody who knows what the heck they're talking about and doing don't just be getting trained by any and everybody make sure they know what they're doing and they train you properly and that they at least understand your state laws and if and if they don't then you know and they can't help you and understand then you need to leave them alone it ain't worth trying to get ron certified or really there's no certification per se it's just approved by your state and even these other certifications these people offer i mean they're not real certifications i don't consider them real certifications but um you know certification eh, you know they might be certificates of completion but not certifications um and you can call them that but whether they really are that's a different story um and there's a whole difference between certifications and certificate of completion certifications a lot of times it's something that you have to do continuously you know um like it people get you know cnna certified and this certified and it's something that you do repeatedly the nna certification is something that we do repeatedly we get recertified in that we don't you know certificate of completion that just saying you completed something and all of that so um but yeah so yeah i want to talk to y'all real quick about this mortgage industry and how it may affect and will affect notaries um look at the video in the description from minority mindset um that will help you understand um the mortgage industry and all the pieces that are involved in the mortgage industry um i'll turn this off you need to really really look at that video maybe two or three times so you can understand how everything flows and works together and what affects what um because if you, you now he talks about it from a home buyer perspective so your home buyer can understand what's going on with the mortgage industry but now take what he's saying and then apply it as, okay, as a notary waiting for a lender to tell a title company who would tell a, a signing company, go get a notary. Or a lender who would tell a title company to go get a notary, meaning direct or signing service. This affects both. So don't think that, oh, if I work with a direct client, this doesn't affect me. The, the main client that we all working with is the title. And if the title don't have business coming in, who is the one that sets up these closings? Ain't none of us going to have no money, okay, with regards to this. That's just the truth of the matter. Um, and this has nothing to do with, well, is it saturated? Or was it? If there's no houses to be bought and sold, and if everybody's done refi and nobody wants to refi again, and, and it's not advantageous for them to refi, meaning... The interest rates go up to a point where people are like, well, no, I'm not even saving anything to refi, so I'm not going to do it. Will there still be houses bought and sold? Yes. Will there be foreclosures? Yes. 
Will people be buying those foreclosures and short sales? Yes. And you need a notary for that because there's a mortgage or a deed involved. So that's why you have to build the proper relationships with people so that you can go out here and basically have, have money coming in after or when things start shifting and adjusting. Now, in the interim, the first thing that you need to do, having an idea or knowledge that things could adjust or change, you need to find, you need to really look at your expenses. Where's my money going right now? Where am I spending a lot of my money? If you're spending a lot of money in buying people's training and paying for people to tell you what to do, buying, you know, spending money on going to everybody's membership, even my membership, um, then you may need to, to revisit that. If you are spending money, um, on conferences and meetups and get togethers and certain types of advertisements, that's not necessarily profitable. Then you need, you may need to adjust that. You may need to like, okay, well, let me stop doing this and hold back on some of that stuff and just get out here and work. So if you're spending, you know, a couple of hours a, a week in in networking things and you're not working and those networking things aren't bringing you the dollars, you may need to back down from that and um and all that. Now, for some of you, you've already spent the money for that year membership. But then come this January, when it comes time to renew, you might have to say, no, nah, I'm not going to renew, especially if it hasn't at least helped you to break even. OK, Um you got to look at your time management, where you're getting your supplies from, all of that. So if the mortgage industry is going to adjust to some place to, to where there's going to be a reduction in money that you can actually get. Okay. Every card this guy gets is loud. <laughs> um, if you go and, as a matter of fact, I don't even think it was loud. I think he must have got a muffler put on there. I think he probably did that on purpose. Because that particular car doesn't normally make noise. So he must have did a muffler thing. So I'm sorry, y'all. I know I'm going to get thumbs down because I allowed myself to be distracted by the noise. But that's that's what you got to look at. So I'm looking at, okay, partnerships, memberships, you know, things of that nature. And where's my money going? Okay, you know, that's the kind of stuff that you're going to have to look at if you're talking about a 20% or 15% or even a 10% reduction in where your money is going, you know, um, or money coming in your revenue. So now you got to say, okay, well, am I going to be willing to put money out on these things, these memberships, these partnerships and everything, um, in order for me to do this business, you know, is it even profitable? So that's what you're going to have to look at. Um, and then get out there and work. You know, you might have to look at adjusting your your time. You know, um, are you able? I'm just checking. Other little orders coming in. You're going to have to adjust whether or not you can just work in the evenings or work during the day. You might have to do a little bit of both. You might have to stop working evenings and work more in the um, daytime and vice versa. You're going to have to look at how, what kind of adjustments you need to make in order for you to be successful during this transition time in the mortgage industry, building relationships um, with these companies, being there for them. And this isn't a time where you can go and say, okay, well, the mortgage industry is shifting. So now, yeah, you will pay me $300. If their money is going down, they may not be able to pay you as much but they could still feed you enough that can take care of your family. You just going to have to work a lot more. And, and if you can prove yourself, then they'll be like, okay, well you're worth paying the extra money to. That's the kind of stuff that you're going to have to look at doing. But if you're not willing to do it or not in a position to do that, then your time being in this business may be up. You know, that's just the truth of the matter. So, Take it for what it's worth. I'm not a financial planner. I'm not your advisor or anything of that nature. I'm not a legal guy, lawyer, any of that. I'm just saying that if the mortgage industry is shifting, are you going to shift with it? Are you going to 
get yourself in a position that you can adjust and move forward with the mortgage industry just you know when it happens if you are then cool <clears throat> if not then then you it's gonna be hard for you to make it because when you're out here demanding to be paid this high fee and these companies are like look we done took a 35 40 percent reduction in business our revenue is down and now you sitting up here crying about you want 300 dollars, and we need this loan closed and you sitting up here giving us a hard time we just need you to go do the daggone thing and stop fussing about you need three hundred dollars because it's more than than 150 pages to print either you're gonna do it or you're not which one is it if you're not don't worry about it just tell us and we'll leave you alone and never deal with your behind again that's where these companies are at now basically and going to really be at come the um when this thing shifts and you don't want to be the person getting fussed at you want to be the person that they say okay thank you we appreciate it you know here's a little christmas bonus i don't celebrate christmas but i'm just using that as an example um or whatever the case may be and when things bounce back for them okay maybe not overall for the mortgage industry but maybe for that company things bounce back maybe they start getting clients back or whatever the case may be and then you've been there for them through the lean times and y'all know when it, with relationships when somebody is there for you in the lean times that means so much and you really take care of them you really invest back into them but if they're only there for when the things are good, then you ain't really feeling them that much. And you don't want to have too much to do with them when things only, you know, after the lean times are over. So I, that's pretty much it, y'all. Um, like I said, this is going to be a short one today. Um, look at the video down below and I think you will understand where I'm going with this. And then you just have to decide how to apply you know what strategies you're going to apply in your business so you can move forward now if your mindset is ain't nothing gonna change it's gonna stay this way that way and the other all right i hope you're right and i hope the rest of us is wrong but if not it doesn't hurt to plan and prepare all right so i'm gonna go find me another fritter that fritter was trash don't eat the wawa fritters i hope wawa don't be coming at me but it didn't taste good and it made my mouth i mean even now my mouth feels all dry and pasty and stuff so I'm going here and fix me some lumpia or something like that real quick. But, um, oh, oh, last thing, last thing. Um, just before I did this, I got this order that came in. I'm not able to do it, but in the order, the, it says our client, our clients. Nope, nope. Okay. The video might get a little bit longer here now. It says our clients, meaning this signing company is letting you know that they have a client. And their client is instructing them to instruct you, the notary, business professional attire, no shorts. That's what it says in here. I wish I could show y'all. Um, I really do. I wish I could show y'all where I don't even, let me see if that, uh, there it is. No shorts, no shorts, no shorts business professional attire no shorts business professional attire business professional attire you see it y'all all right i'm showing y'all this is what it's saying these are the instructions our clients this is coming from the client the client wants this done now the question is are you going to do it Y'all know I could go on the tirade right now with this here. This, this here, this here is just, this just, just, that, that right there just sparked that, you know, but y'all know how I feel about this stuff. So I want to keep this under 50, about 15 minutes and I got about 30 seconds left. So simply put, follow the instructions, no shorts. If you're out there in shorts, gauchos, guchos, um, Jordan shorts, bronze shorts, Michael Stockton shorts, whatever you you know fat farm and all that cut all that mess out nobody don't want to see your legs your ankles your kneecaps okay none of that stuff all right i'm gonna leave it at that y'all take it for what it's worth i'm gonna go find me a better fritter 